Hello my friends and welcome to this hands-on tutorial on AWS Cloud Shell. So first thing first, you have two ways of accessing Cloud Shell. The first is by either finding it in the services here or entering Cloud Shell in the search bar and then click Cloud Shell here. And this will take you directly to AWS Cloud Shell. And the second way, which is definitely way faster, is by clicking this shortcut button here, which will take you again directly to AWS Cloud Shell. All right, so AWS Cloud Shell is a browser-based shell that gives you command line access to your AWS resources in the selected AWS region. And that's very important. Know that Cloud Shell is actually not available in every region. So make sure that you are still in North Virginia, US East 1, because it is one of the regions where you can use Cloud Shell. And to know the other regions, you can click Learn More here. And then you will find the regions in Supported Regions right here. And then AWS Cloud Shell page, which will list all the regions where you can use Cloud Shell. So as you can see, you have US East 1, US East 2, West 2, you have all the regions here, okay? So let's go back to Cloud Shell and play a little bit with it. So I'm gonna close this. And so the first thing that I wanna show you is that with Cloud Shell, we don't need to enter our credentials. And to show you this, I'm gonna enter the following command, which is AWS S3 LS, which is a command that will list the different folders also called buckets in the S3 AWS service, which you will see right after this section on IAM. And indeed, if I press enter here, well, we don't get any message that we need to enter our credentials to access S3. And that's because the credentials are applied by AWS in the background. Now let's play a bit more with it. Let's create a very simple text file because I want to show you that in AWS Cloud Shell, you can actually store for free one gigabyte of data, including, for example, a text file in a Cloud Shell session storage. And so to illustrate this, I'm gonna enter the following command, echo, then in quotes, hello, my friends, enjoy the cloud. And then I just continue with this, and I will put this text in a text file that I will call very simply readme.txt. And so then if I press enter, it will create this text file. And now this text file is in the session storage, meaning the storage of our current session here. Indeed, if I enter ls here to list the items in the storage of our current session, well, you will see that after pressing enter, it will find this text file we just created, readme.txt, okay? Now know that whatever you have in the storage of your Cloud Shell session, you can download it by simply clicking actions here and then download file. And then here you simply enter the name of your file, readme.txt. And then you click download and this will download the file on your machine. There you go. And also know that you can upload any item you want in your session storage by clicking upload file here. And then you can just select the file on your machine. All right, so I actually prepared a file in my desktop, data.csv. I'm gonna open it and upload it in my session storage. And now it is uploading the file data.csv and I will have it in my Cloud Shell session storage. All right, file upload successful. And so now indeed, if I enter ls again, we will not only see the readme text file, but also the data.csv file that I just uploaded. Great, whatever you have right now in your session storage will stay in Cloud Shell as long as you stay in the same region. And that's because you have one session and therefore one session storage per region where Cloud Shell is available. All right. So that was a quick introduction to Cloud Shell. And now in the next hands-on tutorial, I will introduce you to CLI, but know that this will be an optional tutorial because it's out of the scope of the exam. So I'll see you anyway in the next hands-on tutorial. And until then, enjoy the cloud.